So not in the way yet, but no problem. Okay, so we're going to do pack star drill, okay? But um, what we're going to do is, let's move it down. Okay, um, is we're just going to go over very quickly some basic things that we need to check when we're doing pack star drill. Um, this is the reason we practice pack star drill this way is because we want to keep going forward. We want to generate forward energy. We don't want to chase hands. What we're trying to develop is the same idea with the punch that there is with the pack star. So we're, for the moment, we're just going to do a standing basic drill and energy, okay? As Anne throws a straight punch, okay, she's going to be throwing a punch towards my nose. You see our hand is chambered up, elbows down, okay? Now, my pack star will be doing the same thing, driving forward. It's important that I don't block like this, okay? So if we go slowly with no power to begin with, you see how my hand drives straight forward, okay? Now, we're both at a position where we both can't hit each other. That's important for the exercise because it's only an exercise to generate the idea that my pack star is no different from Anne's straight punch. It's straightforward. Okay? As we do the exercise, you see how my hand doesn't come around. Okay? I drive straight forward. Okay? To the position, my wusa. Okay? What this te teaches me is, is to go forward. Forward energy. Okay? Towards that. Okay? My mind has no difference between a block and an attack. Okay? Now, there's one problem when we do this. Okay? Is that one of Wing Chun's greatest assets is that we have two-person exercise where we keep repeating the same movement over and over again. So you practice hundreds of times, okay? That's one of its greatest things, that, that instead of I step out here, Anne steps in, I do pack up, and then she steps back, and then I do it again. Okay, so we can just keep repeating it in you know, one basic exercise, but therein is one of the Wing Chun's biggest problems, is that you get lazy with it, okay? I get used to it, and I've done it for so many years, I just do this, and, my, and it's lazy, okay? And what happens is, there's a few errors that start to happen is that you land up chasing hands. I start slapping the hand and if I start doing a good block, Anne starts punching incorrectly. So it means that she starts putting pressure with her forearm against my arm. She thinks she's helping me, making it harder on me. Okay. So if Anne starts doing that to me, okay, just a little bit. There, there, just a little bit. There we go. And now she keeps punching hard but then what happens when I let go? Okay. Drive that wrong. And there, okay, you see boom. Okay, so what Anne has to do is forget that I'm punching. She has to focus. So what we do when we do this exercise now is uh, we're going to test each other because we don't want to get lazy. Okay, so at any stage in my exercise here, yeah, Anne can just stop punching. Okay, and my hand should go forward. If Anne stops punching and this happens, okay, then you're chasing the person's hand. Okay, I can do the same with Anne, which I demonstrated already. At any point, I can just stop and Anne will punch straight. Okay. Why is this important? Because say I'm standing in this position here, um, and um, Anne throws, she fakes to do a punch. I don't kind of chase her hand. As she fakes, I drive forward. Because if it was coming towards me, it's going to block it. If it's not, it's going to drive forward. Okay. If it's lower, okay, I'm going to hit. Okay. Just like your form. Okay. So you see how this comes out. I don't do, if we go slowly, face it to the face. I don't kind of bring my elbows up. I keep my elbow down. We do the next one. See my elbow down. Okay. Remember the last thing we did the other day? Elbow in. Okay. Okay. Jum sa. So it's the same. Look at that shape. Okay. So if something comes towards my solar plexus. Okay. No problem. Then I just go for it. I don't care what she throws. Okay. If she throws something to my stomach. Okay. Then dan chi sao takes care of that. Because dan chi sao teaches me that if someone goes low. Okay. So it goes low. I go forward. Okay, so if I'm standing here and you're stupid enough to lead a fight to the lower belly, <laughs> okay, I'll take care of what's from my elbow here because I know this can hurt me. From here, here. If you're stupid enough to try to throw here, then I'll take that. Okay, you hit me here, I'll take the face. Okay, who's going to win? Me. Okay, so um, that's a basic idea. So once we've got this idea, then we're going to step. Okay, um, so what we're going to test each other out, then what, another very, very cool idea for Wing Chun is that because most of our fighting we're saying we're in conversation range, okay? Now, the biggest problem about me going forward is that I'm butting force on force. Now, what happens if Anne is the size of Noel and I try to go force on force in here? I could be sent flying backwards. But Wing Chun takes that into account as well. It says, right, I'm going to go straight forward, but obviously I need to find another angle of attack um, and I don't want to just go force on force with you. So what happens is when I do my correct block, if the force is too much, Okay, all I do is I just pick up one leg and turn my waist and I'll find a new angle. So how we practice this is that as Anne's punching at any point, I don't know when, Anne takes a step forward. When she takes a step forward, 
she moves me, I don't move myself. So I'm not saying when Anne throws a punch at me, I move backwards, because there I'm too. Anne throws a punch at me, my hand moves. So if Anne suddenly moves hell of into me, if she only moves a little bit, it doesn't matter, okay? If she doesn't move at all, then I move forward, okay? I let the person move, I don't move of my own accord. So this is a wonderful exercise. I have to drive forward. At any time we can test that we, we're both going forward, but any, I don't know when, Anne's gonna take a step forward. See how she moves me? Now look at the new angle I've got, okay? Center lane. That's it. So, this is what we're gonna do. Let's just go stop.